Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to Define Disaster, this is Battlefield 4. In today's weapon review, we'll be taking a closer look at the M40A5 sniper rifle with the aim of finding out what makes this rifle different from your average sniper rifle and why maybe you should be using this one instead of many of the other available rifles. Before we get started with the stats of the M40A5, quick shout out to Battlefront Bros for suggesting this video. I hope I'm able to answer all your questions regarding the performance of the M40A5 as well as how it compares to some of the best sniper rifles in the game. Starting off then with the stats, it has a standard damage model with a maximum damage of 100 and a minimum damage of 59. Typical for a bolt action sniper rifle, what's noteworthy here or the lack of anything noteworthy here is that the damage model ends at 100 meters not 150 meters as some of the heavier hitting rifles do which means it doesn't have that small advantage. It still however will do a one shot kill at all distances, a vital and important part of every bolt action rifle. The rate of fire is where the M40A5 can shine above most of its competitors. With a rate of fire of 51 rounds per minute, it is significantly higher than most bolt action rifles in the game. Admittedly, it isn't the fastest in the game, but it's close enough. Comparing this to something like the JNG90 or CSLR4, which shoot at 37 rounds per minute and respectively 40 rounds per minute, you can see you will be shooting your bullets much faster. And in a sniper duel, this can actually make the difference. If both of you hit a body shot, you can be sure that when you line up your next shot, you'll have your shot in him before he can fire his, which is of course actually quite an advantage. To compensate for this, we have a smaller magazine size at 5 plus 1, 6 bullets in total. You're going to be hitting your reload, which admittedly isn't too long, much more frequently with this gun than you will with something like a JNG90, which has of course 10 plus 1, 11 bullets in total. The main weakness of the M40A5 is its muzzle velocity. At 520 meters per second, it's significantly slower than some of the best in the game. Example, the JNG90 or CSLR4 at 670 meters per second. What this means is 100 and 50 meters per second difference is that shooting targets at longer ranges especially if they are moving is going to be a lot more difficult with the M40A5 than with something like a CSLR4. It should however be noted it is not impossible and you're still not at the bottom of the muzzle velocities available in the game comparing this to something like the CS5 for example which has a muzzle velocity of 400 meters per second. Moving on then to the bullet drop, 9.81 seconds here, standard bullet drop. Nice to see that this gun is not defying the laws of physics, but it does also mean that there's no advantage here to help it perform better at longer ranges. The reload times are relatively standard on the better side, if I may say so, with a short reload of 2.7 seconds, almost identical to almost all bolt action rifles in the game. To so just share two examples, the JNG-19 CS5 share the exact same short reload. It is slightly faster, while only marginally on its long reload than most of the sniper rifles in the game at 4 seconds, meaning this gun is relatively quickly reloaded. It should however be noticed, you reload this gun almost twice as often as you would something like a JNG-19, given its much smaller magazine size. Last but not least, in case you were wondering, we have the accuracy of this gun. It is standard for a sniper rifle, means you have no advantages when moving with this sniper rifle over other sniper rifles. You're going to have a standard 1.5 ADS. Hip fire is going to be terrible. Don't use it, obviously. And of course, a perfect accuracy when aiming down sight and standing still, assuming you're calculating for bullet drop. With that being said then, let's move on to the recommended attachments for this gun. Now the attachments I would recommend for this sniper rifle are no different than those I would usually recommend for any sniper rifle. Your standard preferred optic, if that is a 4x optic, 3.4, 8 times. in my case it's usually the rifle scope, 8 times. usually try to stick to 1 or 2 optics of course to get used to them. Whatever optic you prefer, use it on the sniper rifle. Accessory for me is going to be a variable zoom, allowing me to get a little bit more closer if I find myself trying to engage targets at 200, 250, 300 meters. I want to be a little bit more sure about where exactly their head is located. You could also use a rangefinder if you were so inclined and use your zeroing function of your scope to more precisely hit your targets. I usually just try to aim above their heads unless I'm having a tough day and can't hit anything. Moving on to barrel attachments, it's a sniper rifle. Unless you're trying to do a hip fire challenge in close quarter, you should be using nothing here as barrel attachment. 
No suppressor, no muzzle brake, no flash hider, just a naked standard barrel. Auxiliary, of course, we know as well. It's a straight pull. Sniper rifles are always the same. They're all equipped the same. There isn't really any exceptions unless maybe you're using one in close quarter, something like a CS5. Therefore, with that being said, let's come to the conclusion. What do I think of the m 40 5 Well, it's an interesting enough sniper rifle. For closer engagement distances, it can certainly keep up with some of the best in the game. I'm talking about maybe up to 150 meters. From this point on, I think the muzzle velocity is a little bit in the way of the gun. However, if you get your lead right, it doesn't really matter how fast your bullet is traveling, you're going to hit your target. And therefore, some more experienced players may actually find the M40 A5 to be equal, if not superior, thanks to its higher fire rate to some of the best sniper rifles in the game. It should be noted, however, though, that this is a lot harder to use this sniper rifle at that level of effectiveness than it is something like a JNG-90, because it requires a lot of knowledge about how far you have to lead this gun given its slower muzzle velocity. So the conclusion, if you will, is solid sniper rifle, definitely worth trying out. You're gonna have a fun time using it. Just be aware that it's likely better out there for you to use. But with that being said though, I'd like to hear what you think about the M40A5 as well as my commentary and analysis. Have I missed a key strength of this gun or am I giving it too much credit because of its higher fire rate? Leave that down below in the comments as well as your future video suggestions as per usual though. At this point, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next Battlefield 4 video.